Hi guys, Oleg here with Winner in Bellevue Commons. This episode is going to be my market snapshot for King County for residential data because data already changed from last month and we have data for last two weeks. And I'm going to compare last two weeks data starting from November 4th to November 20th. Today is November 20th when I'm recording this video and I will compare to October data to last month and we will see labor market, CPI report, we will talk about changes in industry. But before we jump into this update, I really like to take a moment and wish to all of you guys Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a big holiday coming up in a couple of days. It's a great time to spend with your loved ones, with your kids, grandkids, families, your parents. It's a great time to spend with your family. Sit down by the one big table and share the dinner. And maybe it's a good time to buy amazing presents to your loved ones. Focus on our gratitude. The tide of disappointment goes out and tide of the love rushes in. What an amazing words by Kristen Armstrong. And now guys, let's go back to November numbers. To refresh information for you guys, medium sell price in King County in last month in October was $903,000 with increase 10% year over year. It's decreased month over month, but increase year over year. Basically price going to the moon. And with 1.9 months inventory, available homes on the market and almost 52% homes sold less than 15 days on the market. Let's compare October data to data which is available right now from November 5th to November 20th for last two weeks on the market. Currently, we have 3,109 listings on the market. We have 606 pending sales and 596 sold properties. 66% homes selling within 30 days on the market, 17.79% homes selling between 30 to 60 days on the market, 9.4% homes sold with 60 plus days on the market. It's something wrong with this number, guys. If your house more than 60 days on the market and doesn't sell, it's something wrong with your agent or something wrong with your home. You need to look to that and improve your situation. Original list price, what people pricing right now to adjust to the change in the market, it's about $885,000. You guys can see currently prices adjusted, prices listed with 15,000 lower adjustments comparable to last month in King County. And if you compare sell price, it's about $850,000 medium sell price for those homes for last two weeks. If this trend is going to be continue, we will see price reduction in King County for about 5% next month. All right, what this data tells me? We got a lot of new listings in the market, sits in the market, it doesn't sell. Uh, we see less pending sales on the market comparable to last month. And we probably gonna see another price reductions in King County, approximately five, maybe four to 5% next month. We'll see when we have like full month data, what's going to happen and how many homes going to be sold. But currently for last two weeks, we see price decrease decreasing just a little bit, not a lot, about four or five percent comparable to months ago. You guys can see numbers of listings sold in October for last 30 days. Uh, pretty much we was sold about 1,669 listings. It's right now we have double listings in the market. So we pretty much have like over two months of inventory currently which shows truly market corrections. But again, we move into the slow season when most people not going to lose the home. And if by end of this month, a lot of sales going to be recorded in King County, that's going to be improve this market. We might going to move from sales market to the balance market, but we will see when we're going to have all this recorded data. So 10 days ago, we have new CPI report and CPI report is improved. Why is this important? Because Fed try to fight with inflation and they try to reduce inflation. When inflation reduce, the bond market going to be improved and with that mortgage rates going to be approved as well. Expected CPI report for November was over 8%, but actually come up 7.7%. Stock market is really improved almost 10% and mortgage interest rate got 0.5% improvement, dropped from 7% for serious fixed mortgages to 6.5% 
for serious fixed mortgages. It's a great, great improvement, which has increased a little bit buyer's power to buy the properties. If you compare CPI report to a couple of last months for September, for example, in September we have 8.2%, in August we have 8.3%, in July we have 8.5%. You guys see slowly increasing. Actually, Fed's doing the right things apparently, and we're going to fight with inflation. And with that, guys, I think stock market will improve and the mortgage rates will improve as well. More likely in 2023, mortgage rates will improve a lot. Uh, a lot of economists are talking about 6% mortgage interest rate beginning of 2023 and then going to be dropped below 6%, maybe 5.5 to low 5% by end of 2023. Another important player in real estate market is the labor market. And currently, guys, in October, we have 3.7% unemployment rate, which has increased from 3.5% to 3.7%. And that's actually a very good increase. A lot of people thinking if unemployment rate increases, it's bad for economy, but actually not, because labor market is really damaged right now with two jobs available for one employee. We're supposed to have like one job for one employee to stop inflation and spiral in the wages leads to inflation, but Fed's try to stop inflation. That's why we have to really, really improve labor market with increasing unemployment rate. Unemployment very related to layoffs, which you guys can see a lot of news currently. And let's look together how local media covers local layoffs. This includes thousands of layoffs possibly happening at Amazon. Kingfire's Kelly Greenberg is live in studio with a look at why some in the tech industry are viewing these layoffs as an opportunity, Kelly. And Greg, it was just a few months ago that smaller startups could never compete with the likes of Facebook and Twitter. Well, now there's high quality talent seeking out opportunities. One investor telling me that she thinks we could see the best companies in a generation come out of this downfall. For the past two weeks, news of tech layoffs have taken over headlines. Companies that have seen huge growth now pumping the brakes. We across the tech industry have seen waves and waves of this. And this is the latest wave. The New York Times with Monday's headline that Amazon plans to lay off 10,000 employees. Amazon has not confirmed the claim. And in new numbers from the State Employment Security Department, we've learned Meta, Facebook's parent company, let go of 307 employees in Bellevue and 419 workers in Seattle. Wow, for me guys, this situation with the tech laid off really reminds me about 2021.com wobble. We have recession at that time in 2021. The market decreased a lot. Tech company shows less profit and they've got to let off a lot of people to adjust to the market. It's same things happening right now and probably in 2023. We're going to see a lot of layoffs. We're going to see a lot of adjustments for those IT companies, but this is not going to be significant for Washington states because we're talking about 3% in like Amazon, for example, Amazon Force, and maybe a couple percent in, in Microsoft, but still a lot of people will hurt. Uh, we might have about up to 40,000 people in that job going to lose the job and we'll see if those people are going to stay to find different job in the same location or going to be moving to different states. That's going to be a reflect our real estate market in January, February, and probably this spring of 2023. And on this slide, guys, can see the biggest light off in the country. The so number one is Meta. It's about 13% of workforce. It's San Francisco area. Second one is Amazon in Seattle, about 10,000 people at 3% in Amazon in retail. Booking.com laid off 25% of the people, about 3,375 people in Amsterdam. Twitter, Uber, Better.com, a lot of companies going to be laid off a lot of people. And when we back to Seattle, to our neighborhood, you guys can see on the screen with me together. So the number one company who going to let off the most people is Amazon, about 10,000, offer up number two, Redfin number three, Fly Homes, Nono Starting, Advada, Zillow, Microsoft, a lot of big names here. If you scroll down, you guys can see on the screen count about 59 big names, big companies, planning to lead off people in Seattle area. A lot of layoffs may improve labor market in Washington state, but I'm worried about if those people going to be moved to find a job in different states. And if those people going to be moving, they already 
purchase properties in Washington State. They possibly will become home sellers who are going to be put a house in the market. And we might have new wave of listings available in the market after New Year. I think January will be very critical months to see how many homes are going to be available on the market. And if those people are going to be keep those properties, maybe renting them, or those people are going to be put it on the market and sell them. I think January will be very critical months to see how many homes are going to be available in the market. And depends what those people are planning to do. We will see if we're going to have more listings in January and uh, market will flood with listings and supply will increase or not. That's going to be reflect housing market in 2023. Please tell me guys, what do you think about it? What do you think about the housing market? Please put your comments below under this video. And I'd like to know guys, what do you guys think if housing market is going to be improved in Seattle or housing market is going to be stay the same? It will be very interesting to find out that right now from you guys. This information I have for you guys today. If you like it, smash like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. I will be allowed to be your real estate resource. I can answer any questions you have about local real estate market. With that guys, have a fantastic week.